One of the first things I would do is go ahead and uncrate the equipment, maybe at the shop or as soon as you get out to the job site. And inside of the unit, you will find a package of uh, literature along with the filter dryer. Within that literature packet, you will find, of course, the install instructions for the unit. Within the install instructions, you will find pertinent electrical information, uh, charging information, startup information, uh, all the things necessary to install the unit you will find within uh, install instructions. Also in uh, with the literature uh, information besides the install instructions you will find a uh, piece of paper for the uh, user's manual. This you can leave with the homeowner. Uh, it just gives them just safety information and other uh, information about the equipment. Uh, very basic, uh, nothing too detailed how it operates in cooling. Uh, if it's in a heat pump, it'll go over some basics of operating in a heating mode. So this is a good piece of information you can leave with the homeowner. Uh, one last piece of literature, and probably the most important piece of information that you'll have in there is our quick reference data guide. With the quick reference data guide, you'll find electrical information, recommended wiring sizes for the therm uh, thermostat wiring out to the condensing unit, you will also find uh, clearance information, but really the most important thing you will find is matchup information. Inside you'll find the QRD, which will list the outdoor unit that you have. Of course, with the 13 sear, we've got a ton and a half, two ton, two and a half ton, three ton, et cetera, et cetera. And it'll also give you all the pertinent information for the matchup. So depending on what you are installing inside, uh, be it a C7 coil, C6 coil, or uh, if this is a replacement unit and you're matching it up with a B5 air handler, or if you're matching it, if this is a new install, of course you'll be matching it up with the B6B MMO uh, systems. It lists all the orifice information, uh, charging information that is needed to get the system up and running. At the very top, you will see the indoor restrictor that is shipped with the outdoor unit. You will also see the bill of material charge for that particular unit. This one we have a 30,000 BTU condensing unit or a three ton condensing unit. So that unit coming out of the factory is shipped with uh, 40 ounces of refrigerant. We also ship additional uh, uh, restrictors with it, a, a 60 and a 61. Again, that restrictor is going to be used with the indoor unit uh, based on the uh, uh, type of indoor unit you are using. This goes all the way to the back side where it also lists the uh, A coils that are matched up with this too. So just a quick example, we have a three ton outdoor unit. If we're matching it up with a three ton, three -ton B7 air handler, We'll look under the three ton column, match it up with the three ton air handler, and we will need to change the indoor piston to a 65, and we will have to add an additional 15 ounces for a 15 foot line set. So if you're using a 25 foot line set, of course you would go to the front, you would need to use a three quarter inch suction line. Of course we always use the three eighths liquid line, you would come on the first page of the QRD, look up the three quarter inch suction line, and we would need to add 0.6 ounces per additional foot above the 15 foot um, minimum line set that we come charged with. So if you're using a 25 foot line set, add that 10 additional feet, that 0.6 ounces per foot, and that'll get you to the correct charge. We mentioned uh, Previously that we needed to change the piston in the indoor unit. So with this B6B MMO 036 matched up with a 36 outdoor unit, we would have needed to install a 65, replace the indoor 67 with a 65 piston. We would grab the 65 piston out of the out of the literature pack and we would install that in at the indoor air handler and remove the old piston. On the 
the remaining pistons I would just throw on your truck, your van, and just keep them for the future use if needed. Uh, start building up your own little piston pack and in case something, uh, the incorrect piston or a piston is missing, or if you get a piston clogged up, you will have spare pistons uh, on hand to be able to replace that on the indoor unit. The final thing in your literature pack is you'll find the filter dryer. Of course, with a 410A system, 410A and POE oil absorbs moisture. So it is absolutely imperative that anytime you open up or install a brand new unit, that you install the liquid line filter dryer that comes with the unit. Um, in the future, if you have to do any repairs on the refrigerant system, make sure you replace that filter dryer and install a new liquid line filter dryer.